Alps, which span 1,200 kilometers over seven Alpine nations, from west to east, France, Switzerland, Italy, Liechtenstein, Austria, Germany, and Slovenia, are the tallest and largest mountain range system in all of Europe. Generally speaking, the Alpine Arch stretches from Nice on the western Mediterranean through Trieste on the Adriatic and Vienna at the start of the Pannonian Basin. As the African and Eurasian tectonic plates collided over millions of years, the mountains were created. Marine sedimentary strata rose by thrusting and folding into tall mountain peaks like Mont Blanc and the Matterhorn as a result of the event's extreme shortening. The highest peak in the Alps, Mont Blanc, spans the French-Italian border and is 4,809 meters high. There are 128 peaks higher than 4,000 meters in the Alpine region. Europe's climate is influenced by height and range size. In the mountains, precipitation levels vary widely and there are many climate zones. Ibex and other animals can be found in the higher peaks up to 3,400 meters, and plants like Edelweiss can be seen growing in rocky places both at lower and higher altitudes. The Alps have traces of human habitation dating back to the Paleolithic period. On a glacier near the Austrian-Italian border, a mummified male estimated to be 5,000 years old was found in 1991. The Celtic Latin culture was well established by the 6th century BC. The Romans established towns in the area, and Hannibal is famous for traveling through the Alps with an elephant herd. Napoleon led a 40,000 strong force via a mountain pass in 1800. An inflow of naturalists, writers, and artists, particularly the Romantics, occurred in the 18th and 19th centuries. This was followed by the advent of mountaineering and the golden period of alpinism. The alpine region has an own culture. In alpine towns, the old ways of farming, manufacturing cheese, and working with wood still survive, but tourism started to take off in the early 20th century and grew significantly after World War II to become the main industry by the century's end. The Alpine regions of Switzerland, France, Italy, Austria, and Germany have all held Winter Olympic Games. In the region as of 2010, there were 14 million residents and 120 million yearly visitors. The Alps are a geographical formation in Central Europe that is 200 kilometers wide and forms an 800 km arcade curved line from east to west. The mountain peaks average 2.5 kilometers in height. The range extends from the Mediterranean Sea north over the Pabasin, through France from Grenoble, and through mid and southern Switzerland. It also stretches eastward. The range extends east to Slovenia and the Adriatic Sea, and west to Vienna, Austria. It veers towards northern Italy to the south and extends to Germany's southern border with Bavaria to the north. The line separating the mountain range and the flatlands is distinct in places like Chiasso, Switzerland, and Alga, Bavaria. It is less distinct in other locations like Geneva. The glacial trough of the Rhone Valley divides the highest part of the range into two sides, with the Bernese Alps on the northern side and Mont Blanc to the Matterhorn and Monte Rosa on the southern side. The range's easternmost peaks, which are located in Austria and Slovenia, are lower than its middle and western peaks. A general classification of the mountains and subregions is that of the Eastern Alps and Western Alps, with the divide between the two mountains occurring in eastern Switzerland, close to the Splugen Pass, according to geologist Stefan Schmid. However, classification of the mountains and subregions is challenging due to variations in nomenclature in the region spanned by the Alps. Mont Blanc at 4,810 meters and Piz Bernina at 4,049 meters are the highest summits of the Western and Eastern Alps, respectively. Monte Rosa at 4,634 meters and Ordler at 3,905 meters are the next highest significant peaks. The French Prealps in France and the Jura Mountains in Switzerland and France are two of the lesser mountain ranges that run parallel to the main Alps group. Many of the highest and most recognizable peaks in the Alps are traversed by the secondary chain of the Alps as it follows the watershed from the Mediterranean Sea to the Wienervault. 
It travels west from the Col de Catabona to the Col de Tenda before turning northwest and finally north to the Col de la Madalena. The main change route turns roughly east-northeast once it crosses the Swiss border and it continues in this direction until it comes to a stop close to Vienna. The Leopoldsberg near Vienna is the northeasternmost point of the Alpine Arc, situated right on the Danube, which empties into the Black Sea. The southeastern portion of the Alps, on the other hand, ends on the Adriatic Sea in the vicinity of Trieste, toward Duino and Barcola. Naturalist Louis Agassiz observed that glaciation caused severe mountain erosion during the Miocene epoch and published a paper in which he claimed that the Alps were periodically covered in ice. Agassiz developed this theory while looking at rocks near his new chattel home, which he thought originated to the west in the Bernese Oberland. Despite numerous naturalists before him putting up similar theories, he became recognized as the father of the Ice Age hypothesis as a result of his study. As they move, glaciers carry rocks and debris with them. Over time, this results in erosion and the creation of valleys. The Inn Valley is a good example of a valley that was sculpted by glaciers throughout the Ice Ages and has a characteristic tiered structure brought on by erosion. At the bottom of the valley are rocks that have been eroded during the most recent Ice Age, while at the top are rocks that have been eroded during earlier Ice Ages. Valleys with lower reliefs and talus slopes are the remains of glacial troughs or previously filled valleys. Glacial valleys are distinguished by their unusually steep walls. The margins, centers, and termini of glaciers all have moraines, which are accumulations of rock gathered during glacial motion. Alpine glaciers can take the form of straight ice rivers, long, sweeping rivers, glaciers that are spread out in a fan-like pattern, Piedmont glaciers, or ice curtains that hang from the steep mountain peak slopes. The force of the movement causes the ice to break and crack loudly, which may help to explain why in medieval times people thought the mountains were the abode of dragons. The greatest risk to mountaineers comes from the cracking, which produces unanticipated and hazardous crevasses that are frequently hidden by fresh snowfall. Lowland Europe receives irrigation water, hydroelectric electricity, and drinking water from the Alps. The Alps contribute up to 90% of the water for Lowland Europe, especially in drier regions and during the summer, although covering just around 11% of the continent's surface. 80% of the water used in cities like Milan comes from alpine runoff. Considering only those that generate energy of at least 10 megawatts, at least 550 hydroelectric power stations utilize water from the rivers. Major rivers that originate in the Alps and run into neighboring nations before emptying into the North Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, the Adriatic Sea, and the Black Sea are the Rhine, the Rhone, the Inn, and the Pa. Major streams from the Alps enter other rivers, such the Danube, and flow into them. The Rhone River, which originates as glacial meltwater and flows through Lake Geneva before reaching France, is the second largest freshwater supplier to the Mediterranean Sea after the Nile. One of its purposes is to cool nuclear power plants. Nearly 60% of the water that Switzerland exports has its source in a 30 square kilometers area along the Rhine. The main valleys, which are susceptible to flooding during the snowmelt season when rapid runoff generates debris cascades and swollen rivers, get water from tributary valleys, some of which are complex. The Alps are a prime illustration of what happens when tempered lower elevation territory transitions to higher elevation terrain. The term alpine refers to elevations with frigid climates similar to those seen in polar regions. The temperature drops as one ascends from sea level to higher parts of the atmosphere. A mountain chain's influence on prevailing winds causes warm air from a lower region to move into an upper zone, where it expands in volume at the expense of a commensurate loss of temperature. This temperature loss is frequently accompanied by precipitation in the form of snow or rain. Because of the removal of moisture from the air as it passes over the high peaks of the Alps, their height is sufficient to separate Europe's weather patterns into a wet north and a dry south. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, share and subscribe.